assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel nds guru this is the lecture 2 of profit and loss in this lecture we will discuss three different types of questions which repeats in nds and other competitive exams question is cost price of 20 items is same as selling price of x item if profit is 20% then find value of x so we let cost price of one item is x then cost price of x item will be x as this is on unknown so cost price of 20 items will be 20 rupees similarly given as cost price of 20 is same as selling price mean cost price and sales price is same so sale price of x item is 20 rupees so profit is sale price minus cost price as sale price is given as 20 and cost price is given as x so profit is 20 minus x how we can find profit percent if profit is 25% then find value of x in order to find x profit percent is given as profit by cp into 100 here profit is 20 minus x and cp cost price is x multiply by 100 which is equal to 25 profit is given so by rearranging when i when i will rearrange this 20 minus x equal to 25 into x and this will be here so 25 divided by 100 is 1 by 4 so 20 minus x equal to 1 by 4 x this x will i will move this on other side so 20 equal to then i will take a lcm this will be 5x by 4 this implies that x equal to 16 so the value of x in this question is 16 if there is cost price is same as selling price and item is unknown and you have to find item in percent is given just use percentage formula which is equal to profit by cost price then profit is given 25 uh, then profit then a cost price is given not given so put x and profit is not given so we can find profit as sale price minus cost price and sale price is given as 20 20 minus x so just putting all these values in this formula you can find the value of x next question is if sale price is double then profit is tripled find profit percentage sale price and cost price are not given just just this is there is given double and tripled so we assume as cost price is equal to x and sale price equal to y so we can find profit as sale price minus cost price which is equal to y minus x So in the question is given if sale price is doubled in this question in this profit we can double the sale price but cost price is not double and in other it is given as profit is tripled profit is tripled so here i can put as profit 2y minus x is tripled 3y minus x single profit so by rearranging this this implies that 2x equal to y so value of y is 2x so we can put this value here in profit 
टू एक्स माइनस एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो प्रॉफिट इज एक्स परसन एक्स वी कैन फाइंड प्रॉफिट पर्सन विच इज इक्वल टू प्रॉफिट बाई सी पी इन टू हंड्रेड एज प्रॉफिट इज एक्स एंड सी पी इज एक्स सो वी कैन कैंसल एक्स एंड एक्स सो प्रॉफिट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रॉफिट सो वेन एवर देर आर क्वेश्चन इन विच गिवन सेल प्राइस इज डबल्ड देन प्रॉफिट इज ट्रिपल्ड बट सेल प्राइस एंड कॉस्ट प्राइज नॉट गिवन सो ऑलवेज एज्यूम कॉस्ट प्राइज एंड सेल प्राइज एज एक्स एंड वाई एंड देन फाइंड प्रॉफिट एंड देन फाइंड प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज बाई सेलिंग एन आइटम फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी फोर a main get profit person equal to cpf item find cost price so questions where selling price is given and you have to find cost price then always remember if the cost price is profit person equal to cost price so always remember this shortcut if profit person is equal to cost price and sale price equal to Twenty-four. Just remember this number, this cost price. Divide into two factors whose product is twenty-four, but their difference is ten. Whose product is twenty-four, but difference is ten. This is the main point. Twelve into two is twenty-four, and twelve minus two is ten. So, just take lower number, which is equal to two, and put zero in front of this. This will be cost price twenty rupees. So, option B is correct. So, whenever sale price is given, profit percent equal to cost price, and you have to find cost price. Use this shortcut. Shortcut method: Just divide this term into two factors. In this question, fifty-six into two factors. Fourteen into four is fifty-six, and their difference is ten. So just take lower term, put zero in front of this. This will be cost plus so option D is correct one. Next in the next one forty-four is given. Divide one forty-four into two factors. Eighteen into eight. And their difference eighteen minus eight is ten. Just take lower terms, put zero in front of it. That will be cost price of that item. So this type of questions where sale sale price is selling price is given, and profit percent equal to CP, and you have to find CP. Use this for for shortcut method of factorization. Just divide into two factors whose multiplication is that sale for selling price and whose difference is ten. and that will be take lower term put zero in front of it that will be cost price of that item next question is two items are sold for rupees 200 rupees each there is 10% profit on a and 10% loss on b find overall profit or loss pattern so such type of questions in which profit person loss person of two items is given it can be both profit both loss or one profit and one loss and selling price is given and you have to find overall profit or loss person use this shortcut trick just take any number whose percentage is easy to calculate let's suppose i am taking i am taking 10 so write sell, selling price sorry write cost price let let us assume as cost price is 10 then profit or loss person and then selling price let us assume for a a is 10 percent loss sorry 10 percent profit on a and 10 percent loss on b a is on profit How much profit? Ten percent. So calculate ten percent of ten. Hundred percent of ten is hundred. Ten percent of ten is one. Hundred percent of ten is ten. So ten percent of ten is one. So profit is one. 
and 10 percent loss so we assume second price cost price for b is uh, is as 10 so here is loss so we will place negative sign 10 plus 1 is 11 and 10 minus 1 is 9 so we will now we will equalize this sale price which is 11 and 9 now to equalize multiply this term with 11 and this with 9 so multiply whole term with 9 which is equal to 9 into 10 is 90 9 into 1 is 9 9 into 11 is 99 similarly 11 into 10 is 110 11 into 9 is 11 into 1 is minus 11 and 11 into 9 is 99 here sale price same so we will not consider this we will consider just profit percent or loss percent here is 9 and here is 11 11 minus 9 is 2 and there is negative sign so it's mean negative sign shows there is 2 rupees loss there is 2 rupees loss so we will find loss percent in this question loss percent equal to loss divided by cost price cost price given as 2 and we have find loss multiply by 100 so there is 1 percent loss so the option b is correct that is one percent next question is selling price of each item is five thousand rupees profit percent of first and loss percent of second is given which is 30 and 20 find overall profit or loss person same type of questions we assume cost price whose percentage is easy to calculate i will consider 10 profit percent or loss percent for the first item profit percent is 30 so 30 percent of 10 is 3 loss of second is 20 so i will use negative sign with loss 10 plus 3 is 13 and 10 minus 2 is 8 so i will equalize this with 8 by multiplying this with 8 and this with 13 so 8 into 10 is 80 8 into 3 is 24 and here will be 104 so 13 into 2 is 26 and i will use negative sign as there is loss and this will be 130 so i will consider this part of question there, there is 26 minus 24 is 2 and there will be negative sign so it's mean two rupees loss so we will find loss person which is which is equal to two by cost price is five thousand multiply by hundred as we are considering this loss so we'll consider cost price is this which we assume 210 so here is 210 by cutting these values this will be 20 by 21 which is equal to 0.95 percent so loss percent is 0.95 like and share my videos and subscribe my channel